shall never be defiled. It's like, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest. He don't want none of them fools. Because you know how you be? We be around each other. We can talk to each other about certain things. Like, oh, did you see that in the news? Like, you see that just did another missile launch? Or do you see that bill they just passed? Or net, net neutrality, they just can't. If I go to the average person in the world, you can't talk to them about net neutrality. You can't talk to them about North Korea's missile program. These people, that they don't even get, you're just speaking, like they say, you're just speaking Greek to them. They don't even know what you talk about. So you can't, you literally can't have a conversation with them. You know what I mean? The spirit, the spirit, when you're talking about it's a different spirit. They ain't want you to be around these other motherfuckers who's like, Oh, like you don't fit in. The only thing you can talk about with him was what? Oh, what's yeah. the best? What's the best video game console? Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Like here, like here, you man, you tell him y'all don't disagree, y'all don't agree. You teaching him that his actions are the main thing. What's scripture say? Am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah. These motherfuckers start talking to you. You know, they got they look at you with the eyes. What you catch that? Snakes, man. Yeah. Snakes. I'm that guy that'll bust out a notebook and start writing in Hebrew and start giving everybody a lecture. And then they day we having that one. You know, that's what motherfuckers like, man. It's like you giving me a headache. <laughs> or what they tell you, they they call you a buzzkill. Yeah, buzzkill. That's what my brother Luke tell me. He always, now his name is Luke too. You know what I mean? But uh, it means light. So that boy, but he's in total darkness. I saw my brother just came from Atlanta though, uh, a couple days ago. And they was like, oh shit, it's that brown uh, alcohol. What you gonna do when you get on it? But somehow we got on the Bible and shit, but you know how was destroying it. So they, was, they just pissed. They was, they, they was being scoffing. I kept trying to tell them, like, y'all not really trying to get no answers. Y'all just trying to demean me. You feel me? Like, they're like, well, you know, my mom was alive. She's gonna look for it. I'm like, hey, I want to show you the scripture. Like, she didn't go with it. This shit was going on. Yeah. Yeah, it is, Woo. He said, never be disquieted with madness. Yeah. Oh, that's an apartment. What you do for? It's on campus. You know, that's expensive as hell on campus. That's for Esau. <laughs> Like they, like, they're about to like, uh, show brain games. They say like, when you, when you like somebody, not like, you don't have to be like, sexual, you gotta be like, your friend, whatever. Start imitating. Like your friend might have like a catchphrase, like, you know what I'm saying, that you gonna start imitating him yeah. and shit. So yeah. when you around a wicked all the damn thing, every day, every day, all that shit, uh -huh. and you gonna start imitating him, and you start, you start getting him. disquieted with madness, you start doing the shit he doing. Right, like, like I was around guys that kept saying "bub" all the time. Like, wait, what, what's the bub? I started saying that dumb ass <laughs> well, shit. I mean, I'm bad. I, I didn't mean like that's wrong. Well, you know, you know, know I, mean, I like, know what you're saying. Like, doing her ways and shit. No, man. I know, but that's just a small example, yeah. Because so when you 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 pick up the mannerisms of people, man, the more you're around somebody, you gonna like, oh, oh, maybe one day it didn't matter. Maybe I'll just go ahead and just do this threesome. <laughs> Or yeah, I ain't never gonna do that, but some of Jake's out here get bugged out, and then next thing you know, they they thought they was in the truth. Now they make a Pornhub videos with their best friend, do some bugged out shit. You know what I mean? They got demons on. Got demons on. Cause you have dudes who like, you want to hit this with me? He's like, no, I'm not hitting that with you. That's gay. If you put my my junk out and your shits out, and they call it sword fight. That's, that's some fucking fact shit, man. I, I'm, but that's common though. I hear dudes, they always talk about, yeah, we both hit it at the same time. And they try to get you to do it. Heard what baby said. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing about I'm what baby said. I walked in the apartment, they running training the bitch and they, and they in there having a laugh about it, right? Yeah. They tried to come one of them, because one of them ate the pussy. You know what I mean? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah that's nasty. All, they all shared the same bitch though. That's yeah. nasty. You know, they mind playing the baby. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you ain't know they call themselves dudes with me. They stupid anyway. And that's a new thing though, savage. I'm a savage. A savage means wild. Which they are though. Well, they, they are, are savage. Are. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no the Lord called them wild. The wild yeah. olive tree. Cause they got to be grafted back in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what, hey, that's a good example of what that wild olive tree is really talking about. Is when the olive tree became uncultured. 
It ain't talking about heathens. People are wild out treat me. Gentiles can be saved. No, that means what we just said is what it means. Hosea 4 and 2, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touching blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shall thou fall in that day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Yeah, these people, they don't know nothing, man. That's why they still celebrate Christmas. If you had any knowledge, you would not celebrate Christmas. Because you know that, that's a big deal, that Christmas thing. Hey, 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 Christmas, no, it don't have nothing to do with the Bible. Dude, they gotta tell you that. They don't have nothing to do with the Bible. But all we can do it for the kids, that's what they always they say. They don't know that. The, they the, don't know that. It's the religion of the beast, is what they, it is, they, though. They don't know that's not the Bible, because they don't read that in church. But there are some that will the Oh, the, but the pastors will know, right. though. Right. Because when you, you talk to the pastors, yeah. they'll be like, well, we just merged with the pagan beliefs, you know, to make conversion easier. But they, uh, what are you talking about? They, they don't know that. Yeah, they still celebrate goddamn Christmas. I wish to get the, we gotta get all the Christmas scriptures. Christmas is gonna get canceled. Most high gonna cancel Christmas. Ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be no more Christmas in the kingdom of heaven. That ain't happening. Because Christmas. To celebrate Christ, not oh, shut God, up. God, God, Give me a scripture. Give me a scripture. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Now she was a, she was a Christ Greek. Oh, now, now you're going off. You did good, then you did bad. First, she said we're not supposed to worship material possessions, but then she said it's Christ mass. Hey, Christ mass actually means Christ death. Mass means death, don't it? When you have a mass. Penises. No, that's what. Oh, they probably do say that, or a shepherd stand. They say it's really it's really a phallic symbol. It represents a penis. Jeremiah ten and one. Hear ye the word of the Lord, which speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. So the Holy Bible said, Learn not the ways of the heathen. Celebrating Christmas is the ways of the heathen. The Bible clearly says, Do not celebrate Christmas. That's the ways of the heathen. That's not in the Bible. That's not our customs. Okay, that's a pagan cause. Actually, Christmas is Baal worship. Literal, actual Baal devil worship. But you know, people don't, don't know that. The scripture said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Go ahead with that. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed. Oh yeah, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because Christmas is uh, winter solstice worship. That's what the pagans is into. Every time there's a equinox, a solstice, pagans is having a celebration. Same thing with Christmas. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of you people in America are vain. Keep going. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Y'all take a tree out of the forest, that Christmas tree. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck the tree with silver, silver and gold. Yes. Silver and gold. But but here the Bible describes a Christmas tree to a T. Uh, we're gonna do if we was doing Christmas carols with hot chocolate out here, we'd have a crowd. They say we was godly men, but since we say fuck Christmas, oh now it's a problem. Since we read the actual Bible, we actually read the Bible. With the Bible, now it's a problem. But we're singing Christmas carols, blowing smoke up your ass. With Santa, with Santa Claus out here, taking pictures. You know what I mean? Then we'd be godly men. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be in the picture with Yeah, you know, ma. You know, you know. Hey, it's going to be out front. Hey, so the, yeah, the most high going to cancel Christmas. And the Bible said, you you're not supposed to put a Christmas tree in your house. That's right there in the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter. That was written, a fucking tree in your 
Oh, the tree in your house. You have a, it's not even a li live tree, it's a, a corpse of a tree, a dead tree. That's why everybody's house is getting burnt down and hey. Hey. Oh, it's walking good. Hey. Hey. They deck it with silver hey. and they fasten it with nails and some hammers that it moves around. He probably go around the corner and be like, okay guys, it's time to go home. Call it a day. <laughs> How much you make? <laughs> he like, man, these people they fucking believe anything. <laughs> Talking all normal and shit. You see how he knew that they asked us again. Yeah. That was a hustle. <laughs> man, he got me for like 50 cents last week. <laughs> That's why I was looking at it because it's crazy because I just watched the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just do what to do. You see people out here with the Bible. Of course, you go, oh, God bless. Uh, uh. Yeah, Christmas is going to be destroyed. It's going to be bad. Yeah, God is not with Christmas. He's going to destroy that shit. That was good. How you doing your holiday shopping? You know, the Bible says don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> I usually dance with the camera, but I'm not really bad at it. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, well, let us cheer you up. Uh, we can cheer you up. What do you guys believe? What do you believe? The Bible? Hey, show them that, show them that scripture you just read. The Christmas tree scripture. You want to hear it? Listen, listen. Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 2 and 2. Thus say the Lord, learn nothing where the heathen of the earth was made, and the sight of heaven for the heathen of the state essence. For the custom of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Christmas tree. Work of the hands of the working with the hands. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it not. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moves up. It is prescriptive. And it said it's a vain thing. You can't put. It's the ways of the heathen. Jeremiah That's, 10 and 1. Okay, so listen. Uh -oh. How offended would you be if I, I said that, like, <laughs> I believe in, like, like paganism? Hey, you know, the tree, uh, you know about Yule, right? That's for you. But you know the Yule tree. You want to buy me a gift? Buy a gift from Tom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some shoes. Right. It's really cool, though, because, like, I'm really open-minded. You know what I mean? So, you know what? Yeah, I've been to, uh, like, the Indian woods, and I've been to Scientology for a little bit. Yeah, they really friends with the aliens and rip out your soul. That's you. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Reptilians? I know they just throw that down. Uh, yeah, you're going over the place. She's searching. <laughs> no, I didn't go all over the world. I went all over the world. She's searching. 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 Bill W is a Freemason. Yeah. You can drink. Yeah, you just can't. don't let it get out. No, of she can't drink. I can already <laughs> tell. Everybody come here. That's a that's drink is a manly thing though. Drinking and smoking. Well, it wasn't. I was smoking crack too in here. Man, he's getting it in. Uh, you was doing all that? Yeah. And you know, like I ended up with like I have five. I have five felony charges. Oh damn. And Two and one oh, wow. You know what I mean? So, like, what happened, what happened was, is when in my childhood, I had a lot of, like, trauma issues and mental health happens. Okay. And so, like, I didn't know, I wasn't taught to, like, learn how to feel my feelings. Coming from that country, coming from the country, man, that's what you do. That's what, that's you what happens. That's yeah. what you do. And, uh, so, I'm, I'm actually more of this new guy. Yeah. And it's, it's like, a, no one taught me how to be a person or live or be a human being. So I took control of that, you know, like I needed to suppress my feelings so when I found something that I could do that I took control. Because I wanted to live in a culture of reality, you know, so. Um, but you don't see too bad off now, though. No, I'm good. Right. Okay. Leave that shit alone. Yeah, like my, um, two of my friends just died. That's all she so. needs. She just needs a man and a lord to keep her stable. Yeah, and I believe in something greater than myself, and he's got me this far, so. 
culture in Israel. Only Israelites believe in so great. So you never had heard nobody tell you he was an Israelite before, though, did you? Hey, Israelite, where did you come from? Don't you want to know where you came from? Well, we're, that's obviously we all come from. The Creator. Right, we're star children. There you go. Yeah, a fancy word. Now we're Israelite. You read this book, the book is always talking about the children of Israel. And hey, we are called stars in the Bible. We're called stars. Because what well, we was created before the earth was even formed. The, uh, what's the scripture say? We was chosen and hit before the earth was formed. But I'm also mission to turn everything to cool before the earth was made. There's an extra place where everything was to cool. I'm speaking of the spirit. So that's what we're actually doing. Do you believe in like the uh, like the spirit? That's what we are here teaching. Okay, so spirit. like I've had through my search or whatever, um, a couple of people said that I had it all in me because I could feel the chills and I could see it in the. It's called neutral light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so the can, spirit speaking. So I can see it like um, through coincidences of life. I feel chills when people talk, and like I, me and people will share chills. You know what I mean? And is that so, vibration? So like we don't, there's nothing to explain. You know what I mean? And that's basically things like that. Well, proof is how we know this is true. Coincidences. Like we talk about it all the time. Like damn right. <laughs> what? That was a blind dude. That is it. Is it? Maybe that's it. I was looking at coffee, you guys. All right, dude. Do I have you need know, like a website or something? Well, it's okay. You get my phone number, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, uh, we have a, you know, Twitter. Oh. The, uh, Kings of the Earth. Kings of the Earth? Real easy. Kings of the Earth. You got Facebook? What? Facebook. I just saw Kings. Sorry, what? Oh, it's just a priest. That's what them Jews do. See, that's the people we told you the Israelites. Those are the fake Jews in Israel. They're, they're not even Jews. But that's, Where did you guys learn this stuff? But that's what they do. We searching for the truth. We were searching for the truth. I, yeah, I, I'm still searching. We were searching for the truth. We found the truth. We, we, hit, we hit the jackpot. We hit that black gold. Got that oil. Everybody in the world. We know everything. We're not a bunch of weirdos out on the street corner. We know everything. <laughs> we look crazy as hell, but hey. I like that he's smoking. Is he smoking something? That's his son. Oh. He probably does. You would have liked the Obama one. Oh, yeah. You would have liked the Obama one. Our old Obama sign with the crack pipe. Yeah, they just wanted to sounds kill like us, my past life. All right, leave, All right, leave the pipe alone. Yeah, that bottle sign did bring out the most confusion. Right, he's smoking a crack. Wait. He never smoked crack. Yeah, they said they, he was a crackhead, though. They got the he interview. Crack yeah. his hand, he didn't talk to him. What was that? What, what was that one dude? David Larry. Saint Clair. Larry St. Clair. Yeah, Larry St. Clair. Yeah. He said he was, uh, he said, he liked to sniff coke, but Obama liked to smoke it. Why they blowing each other? Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The black one, they killed the black one. I mean, not the pastor, but the choir. They went to the same churches. Yeah, they said a bunch of gang burgers went up in his house, ran and they killed him. What's the type? Uh, Donald, Donald, uh, oh yeah, that's one of his Donald gay lovers. I see how angry. Man, that's going back. That's back when we first started doing uh, coming out here teaching. Yeah. Right, right when Obama was right there. Yeah. yeah, right when Obama became president. Oh, like an uproaring neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. When Obama got elected. It was like you know how on New Year's Eve you hear all the gunshots. <laughs> when o Obama got elected, all you heard was cheering and celebrations. Parties everywhere. Man. Yeah. Parties, the clubs. <laughs> Cause that club right here on Main, that was the black on ain't there no more, man. Yeah. That motherfucker was chomping. I'm right. So they chomping. Had spotted, like, let's get reparations. Hey, they had, they had, you pull up in your car, they had ballet out there and everything. I remember that. I'm a part. I was still with my baby's mom. She was crying. <laughs> People motherfuckers was crying when he got elected. He did something. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, these people, man, they gone. Look, bro. I ain't gotta pay my bills no more. I ain't gotta pay rent no more. Obama got me. Like what? 
And they trying to say you're probably the Antichrist. They still trying to say you're going to come back. Yeah, Mama's still in the picture, though. He is still in the picture. I think he's making a UN or some shit. It is two vibrations. You know what I'm saying? Obama did do his thing when he first went in. He shot this. He did. His first week, he, killed, first week. Week. he killed a bunch of uh, civilians. First week. His first week. He, he couldn't even wait a whole two weeks. He got to the end of the power war, too. And you can you can't tell Jake either. Jake didn't even care. Right. Right. It's Obama. Yeah, it's Obama. Oh, yeah, Obama was never that. Oh, speaking of what, hey, well, on that same side, because all these so-called black leaders is all set up. You see Tavis Smiley getting caught up with some shit now? <laughs> Tavis Smiley, one of Obama's... His elegant speaking ass. <laughs> he said he was, he was, he was doing shit to men and women. <laughs> He, he was making sexual advances. I didn't read none of it though. I was just happy to see it. I thought it was just women, because you know, they got this big, uh, <laughs> yeah. all these sexual harassment charges coming out on everybody now. Now they got Tavis Smiley's ass. He, he, come to find out, he's a big faggot. A big good boy, huh? And we already knew that though. We've been said it. We've been known. I'm good. Tavis, but he's another one of those prominent leaders though, you know what I mean? Coming in that MLK spirit, in that Obama spirit. He was like, oh, fuck him. Oh, and it came out when the FBA, uh, when the JFK files got released. It came out that MLK was sucking cops. And he was having oh, the bullet. Yeah. yeah, the bullet yeah. and all that. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, my God. Oh, no, you crossed the line. You're on that hugger, man. You're on that hugger, man. All right. Got him, got him.